Hello, pool players. Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel, and thank you very much for watching, everyone. Today's video is going to be covering spin and how we can more easily pocket three different shots by applying the proper spin. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I want to point out is that I am using pocket reducers, and coming in from this angle into the corner pocket, we are at 2 and 7 16 tight pocket. Let us first take a look at this shot where we have both the cue ball and the object ball frozen to the cushion. And in this case, I'm using an elephant ball so we can see the spin transferred to it. But look at the spin that I'm putting on the cue ball. What this does, by hitting it with low right, I avoid the side pocket point, come around it, and then pocket the ball. So here's a nice view from my angle. The ball squirts past the side pocket away from the points and then pockets the shot down the cushion. Shot two is the typical spot shot. Now what I'm gonna show you here is by hitting center ball, watch how this elephant ball travels to the corner pocket. Notice that it's got a lot of tumble on it. Well, what I'm gonna show you here is how we can apply some spin, very subtle spin, to the cue ball and we will transfer some spin to the object ball thus throwing it in with pure roll. And here's that shot. Now let's take a look at my point of view and how I will hit the cue ball. With these first two strokes, I hit a little bit of top spin and that puts a little bit of tumble on my elephant ball. Next, let's hit more side spin and less top. Notice how pure the roll is into the corner pocket. By applying side spin to the cue ball, this reduces the plowing effect known as collision induced throw. Our third shot is an inside spinner where I'm pocketing this eight and getting position on the nine. Now this went in real clean into that very narrow pocket, but I wanna show you here where I have one that hits the cushion on the way in. By using inside top left spin in this case, what we are doing is transferring spin to the object ball. That spin is running spin and it helps it go into the pocket even though it hits a cushion on the way in. I hope today's video was helpful to you as players. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.